All right, boys and girls, today we are working on chapter 16, uh, about some time here, and we are going to be subtracting hours and minutes today. So you can look through the example there, and you can see how they come up with the 4 hours and 10 minutes. 7 hours minus 3 hours is 4 hours. 20 minutes minus 10 minutes is 10 minutes, so it's 4 hours and 10 minutes. So let's get going here with number 1. I see 8 hours minus 7 hours, so that's going to be 1 hour. Okay, and I see 20 minutes minus 15. 20 minus 15 is 5. So 1 hour and 5 minutes. Uh, number 2 here, we have 4 hours minus the 1 hour is 3 hours. Okay, and 35 minus 15, 3 minus 1 is 2. So 20 minutes. So 3 hours, 20 minutes. And number three, I have three hours minus two hours is one hour. And 55 minutes minus 30 minutes is 25 minutes. So one hour and 25 minutes. Now, they're not always that simple. Sometimes we won't have enough minutes. So we're going to have to regroup first and then subtract. So this one here. You can see 2 hours and 20 minutes is the same as 1 hour and 80 minutes. So what they did is they took one of the hours away and they made 60 minutes plus that 20 to get the 80. Okay? So 1 hour and 80 minutes minus 1 hour and 50 minutes is 80 minus 50, 30 minutes. So let's look it over here at this one. So we have 5 hours and 15, uh, 15 plus 60 Yep, that's right, 75. And we went from 5 down to 4 hours. So we're looking at 4 hours and 75 minutes minus 2 hours and 25 minutes. So 4 minus 2 is 2 hours. 75 minutes minus 25 minutes is 50 minutes. Kind of like quarters, 25, 50, 75. Okay? So now let's look at number 6. 6 hours and 10 minutes. So we're going to change that to 5 hours and 70 minutes. Okay? And it's still going to be the taking away the 1 hour and 55 minutes. So that equals, let's see, 5 hours minus 1 hour is 4 hours. 70 minutes minus 55 minutes is 15 minutes. So 4 hours and 15 minutes. And here we go. We got 9 hours and 40 minutes. That's like saying 8 hours and 100 minutes minus 4 hours and 45 minutes equals 4 hours and 55 minutes. All right, last one here. Rita takes 3 hours and 5 minutes to sew a dress. Tara takes 2 hours and 40 minutes to sew a similar dress. How much longer does Rita take? Longer tells us it's going to be a subtraction problem. Okay, so we're going to take the 3 hours and 5 minutes minus 2 hours and 40 minutes. Uh, I see the 5 is less than 40, so I'm going to have to regroup. So I'm going to take that 3, I'm going to change it to 2 hours, and I'm going to add 60 minutes to the 5, so we're looking at 65 minutes. So it's 2 hours and 65 minutes minus 2 hours and 40 minutes. So 2 hours and 2 hours are going to cancel each other out. That leaves the 65 minutes minus the 40 minutes equals a 25-minute difference. So how much longer does Rita take? Rita takes 25 minutes longer. All right. Hey, check it out. We're on to practice 5 elapsed time tomorrow. Yeah, look at that. All right, one more day of time, and then we hit up temperature. All right, so boys and girls, see you tomorrow. Get outside. It's beautiful.